Hey guys, Nuns here, and today I'm bringing you my second Gears of War tips video, number two. First one came when the first day this game came out, because I'm a dedicated motherfucker. Hope you don't mind the swearing, this early in the commentary, sometimes I get criticized for the swearing, but uh, to hell with it, we're all big kids here. If you're playing Gears of War, you've heard this shit anyways, so <laughs> let's get right into it. So, first tip is, if you notice at the beginning of this game, the map was up for the the map, like literal map, was up for this map. So it showed, on those maps it shows where the power weapons are and all that jazz. You should always have that before the, open that before the map starts, match starts, so that you know where all the power weapons are, because power weapons are pretty god. Power weapons and power positions. Power weapons are the things like the one shot, the boom shot, all these different weapons that really can turn the tide of battle for a team. And power positions, like the high area on this map, overpass, Power positions are just any area that when you're in there, you can really go to town. Like, your team can hold that area. Not necessarily camp, but just stay in one area and really kill the enemies a lot. Second tip is use Xbox Live Party Chat. Xbox Live Party Chat for this game is amazing because even after you die, like, you can help your teammates by telling them, like, your buddies. You can tell them where the enemies are by using the uh, ghost cam and everything. That's a really close big one in my books. Listen Closely is another one, like, you can really sound whore the shit out of this game, because unlike the Black Ops, they didn't fuck up the sound in this game, so sound whoring really, really, really works well. Um, if you hit left bumper, it's good because it lights up the enemies kind of, like, through smoke. It lights up your teammates, so that's good if for some reason you can't differentiate the two. But it also shows you, if you look closely, where all the power weapons are, so you can just go in a circle and it'll show you where on the map the power weapons are. By the way, before I keep going, this isn't my best game, uh, but I've been having some troubles with my internet, I just finally fixed it the other day, and uh, this is the best map match I've gotten since then. I just wanted to get a video up as soon as possible. Um, wall bounce, that's my third tip, so run, roll, do those in combination, bounce all over the place, just tap A as much as possible when you're trying to get away from someone, because that A button is your best friend. That wall bouncing which is just I don't know if I do it in this video but it's just bouncing between the walls I've used that to get away from groups of like the whole team versus me and I can get away then pick them off one by one just because I wall bounce like a champ um, oh crap if you're in the Xbox like chart party chat another tip is talk strategy so if you're with your friends the beginning of a game tell them guys left flank I'm going left flank you go right if you've ever watched anybody do a game battles video, that's what I'm talking about. That's the kind of stuff that will really, really help you win a game. Um, try different weapons, because as you noticed, in the first video I was using the Nasher. In this video I'm using the Sawed Off. In my opinion, the Sawed Off just kicks too much ass, it's not even fair. But uh, it's one of those weapons that's difficult to master, but once you do, you'll just go to town. So uh, really try out all the different weapons, because you never know. One that you didn't like the first time you tried it could turn out to be your favorite weapon after a few minutes of use. Um, as always, do the active reloads and the headshots. I remember I said that in the last video. That's really important. Like, uh, if you aim for heads in this game, you will. You can. Someone can be charging right at you. You can aim for the head while they're running, and you'll still. Nine times out of ten, you'll be able to take them out before they get to you. Um, don't stay still for long. So, uh, this actually relates to the next tip. Don't stay in one area for too long. You always want to be moving around at least bouncing between two walls, I don't know, just don't be sitting in one place for too long, because people will flank you. They do flank in this game, flanking is amazing, as I said in my last video. Um, th find the sweet spot, so like with the Nash, uh, not with the Nasher, with the Sawed Off, the sweet spot is pretty obvious, it's, uh, you just get used to it, I can't even describe it, there's a sweet spot that once they get in there, they're, they're fucked, your enemies. But uh, find the sweet spots, and also, once you're in cover, there's always a sweet spot. Nasher, sawed off, I don't care what you're using. I guarantee you it's there. You'll hide behind cover, and this is a pro tip. Hide behind cover, wait for the enemies to come up. There could be two or three of them. This act I actually get multi-kills all the time like this. Is hide behind cover, right when they're about to turn the corner, pop your gun out. Heck, you could pop out, do a rollout yourself just so they can't one-shot you if they're using the sawed off. And uh, just pop them away because they will be pretty much SOL. Um, another one that I was, oh, I just thought of, <laughs> never mind, um, grenades, so learn all, like, grenades are just boss in this game, like, grenades, not so much the smoke grenade, actually that does, you'll notice at the beginning of this video, or about halfway through, I use the smoke grenade actually to stop my, to save my own ass, grenades destroy, 
Grenade tags just make me laugh my ass off. Like, uh, if you grab someone hostage and you uh, switch to a grenade while you have them hostage, you actually stick a grenade to their head. You can use that to get multi kills. And also cover your ass with grenade plants. So, if you're sitting at a corner, maybe you're waiting to get that sweet spot, you know where the enemies are coming from. Whip a grenade down, plant it on the wall so that the anyone trying to flank you gets mocked up. Um, spot enemies, if you aim at someone and you press in the left stick, I was really confused about how to do this for a long time, so here's me trying to help out anyone who still doesn't know. L click the left stick and you'll spot an enemy, they appear on your team screen for a while. Um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you'll notice, there was in the background some epic music. That's a new addition, I'm going to be putting that in all my videos. It is royalty free, so no, this video will not be taken down. As always, guys, oh, uh, like I said, this video isn't my best, but, uh, Heck, if you want to see more Gears videos, let me know. Tomorrow, Arkham City comes out. I'll be playing that, maybe doing a playthrough. Hope you guys enjoyed this tips video. Hope it helps you out in the future. As always, it was Nuns. Peace.